All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. If you are a bowler like myself, but you're just starting out, so not really like myself, because I've been bowling for over 20 years, and you don't know what kind of bowling ball to get, this is the video for you. Today we have the Electrify BSY. Bowling is so yummy. It's our, our newest low-end ball, but it's not the lowest we go. A lot of people will end up getting the Tropical Surge as their first ball. It smells delicious. Also, go to efx.co. This is my newest jersey design. You can get replicas just like it. EFX.co, coupon code DTAN for 10% off. So we're gonna throw this Electrify and we're just gonna talk about what bowling ball you should get if you're just starting out. You've never gotten one before. Where should you start? Now, if you like tripping fours, maybe you go for the Electrify. I'm just kidding, I don't wanna be a troll. So the Electrify is gonna be a little bit stronger than the Tropical Surge. And I'm gonna to try to explain to you how that makes sense with all the shots I'm gonna be throwing today. So off of that, I'm gonna move a little to the left. So like I said, the Electrify is gonna be in our entry level line, but a step up. So if you're the kind of bowler that sees yourself taking it to the next level, you might wanna to lean towards the Electrify. But if you just want to go hang out with your friends, just get some kind of reactive ball that hooks more than your plastic ball or your house ball, maybe this is the one. As that one hooked more than every shot I've done so far. I didn't move back to the right though. So we're bowling on a broken down house shot here at South Point. Shout out to them, thank you for letting us come in shoot our videos, they're very wet dry. What that means is there's a lot of oil in the middle of the lane, a lot of hooks to the right. So when I move to the right, if I get it there a little too fast, it's gonna hook too much. So I'm gonna be playing closer to the friction with the Tropical just cause it's a weaker ball. It flares a little less, which also means less hook. You know, talk about flare, more means technically more hook, less means less hook. I'm just gonna move my eyes a little to the left. Oh, there we go. So that, you know, kind of proves the whole wet dry deal. I 3610, didn't move my feet, basically just threw it to the left a little more and it helped. If you ball on the harder stuff and you do that, the first shot might hit the head pin. The second shot probably won't hit the head pin. I'll probably miss it to the left. We're gonna get to a point where our ball goes completely straight just cause this is how the lanes get when a lot of games are bowled on the house shots. With all those plastic balls going down the middle of the lane, that's where the oil goes. I guess we'll just keep moving left. Try to show you guys how much this ball can hook. It depends on your ability, how much you can make a bowling ball hook. I believe this one will be able to get further left and it'll still shape a little more than this Tropical. The Tropical will uh, go straighter sooner. Entry level balls typically have lower differentials, which means lower flare, which means lower hook. Basically, they just hook less. So as you buy stronger and stronger bowling balls or more expensive bowling balls, they kind of go hand in hand. Basically, the more you're paying, the more hook you're getting. But that doesn't always mean how much the ball is gonna curve. Should we do a ball giveaway in this video? I know a lot of people, unfortunately, have gotten scammed in our videos from people being bad people. If you ever get a message on YouTube in the comment section, it's not us, We're, you didn't win anything from us. More likely than not, they're gonna win something from you, so don't do that. We try to filter them out as best as possible, but there's only so much we can do. So, what I would like you guys to do, join Discord, I know it's a little bit of a chore and not a lot of people like this, but it's the best way for us to keep track of who wins and how we can get the balls to you. Give us your Discord name in the comment section below. We'll pick somebody to win this Tropical Surge. It's on the rack and not in my hands. There we go. We finally got to that last dot, the 35 board that we're standing on. And I got that one to the right a good amount. And because they're so wet dry, if I get it a little bit to the left, it's just gonna go straighter and straighter. So we're finally outside that realm of this ball hooking back to the pocket. So let's go to the Tropical Surge, the ball we will be giving away. I'm gonna start on the big dot. We're closer to the friction again. So if we get it there just a little too quick, it's gonna overhook. I think the Tropical also has a stronger layout. I don't think it's gonna matter as much. And when you bowl on the easier patterns like house shots, all of the bowling balls look a little more similar. You can kind of play the same lines. They just do marginally different things. But when you start to bowl on harder stuff, sport patterns, stuff like that, that's where you're gonna see the bigger difference with you know the urethane ball, the strong covered bowling balls, the weak balls, the different cores. That's where the difference in bowling balls will change. All right, next dot over. 25 with the feet. Now that one got to the friction pretty quick too. And another thing I should mention, the cleaner 
or the weaker the bowling ball, typically they'll store more energy. So when they see friction, they're gonna release that energy. So with the tropical being the slightly weaker ball, when it sees friction, it's gonna wanna get off the spot a little bit harder. So with the electrified being a touch stronger, it's using up some energy as it's getting down the lane so it doesn't get off that spot as hard. So that's why sometimes you might have a really strong ball like a gem that goes straight because it's using up all of its energy in the front part of the lane and it has no more energy to hook. So your bowling ball needs to have energy and percentages, I suppose you could say. Enough energy to hook and enough energy to hit the pocket and strike. If it doesn't have those things, you're gonna have a hard time. She's still going strong. I have a feeling this next one's gonna hook and hit the pocket and then everything I've said in this video is not gonna make any sense. The moment of truth. I could just throw it as hard as I can on purpose, but I'm not gonna do that. One moment, please. Now what? <laughs> Honestly, I didn't throw it that bad. I also didn't throw it that good. I mean, as you may know, if you've been following the vlogs, my arm's not in the best condition. We'll see if we can get it to come off the spot. I mean, honestly, I don't even know if that's coming back from that spot. This one is drilled considerably stronger though, so that could be why. I think this one's got a four and a half inch pin, which is really strong for me. Pretty short buffer too. That one's got like a five and a quarter. Let's start again. Oh no! Some things in bowling you just can't really explain. You know, when you're struggling, it could be a combination of layout, cover stocks, not reading the lane the right way. And right now, the uh, tropical surge is matching up to the lane the best. I think if we wanted to play a little firmer and further to the right and play in the oil more, the electrified would be better. But right now, surge is storing enough energy, the right amount to come off the spot. Let's just find the sweet spot with this one. I also haven't touched the cover. I've hit that one with surface, broken the cover in. Maybe that's it. A little thousand action. That's about as dead as possible. Oh, you want to surface it for me? I'll surface it for you. Here you go. Let's see if you can do the job. It's gotta be even all the way around the ball. There's no shot it's gonna be even. You don't know that. I do. I can see it as you're spinning the ball in your hand. Some spots are shinier than others. Oh, so if you do feel like when you're bowling league and you can't do this while you're bowling, it has to be in practice, but if you do feel like your bowling ball sees the friction too hard and doesn't see the oil at all, this could be your solution. Maybe it'll be ours. Thank you. Apprentice. All right, we're gonna stay in the same spot again. Maybe it's more surface required. Maybe we just had to go the other way with this ball. That was definitely closer. Definitely closer, but I do feel like it's the stronger layout. You know, when I was drilling it yesterday, I was like, should I just drill it the same? And then I said, no, let's drill it a little weaker. And here we are. Let's give it one more. It does have some brighter pigment in it too. That might make it a little stronger, want to go forward a little faster. You're gonna get in all your viewers to overthink about all their balls. <laughs> all right, don't think, just throw a ball and strike. Yeah! Those were the beginner bowling balls. I hope this helped you out in deciding what bowling ball you should get if you're just starting out. And even if you're not, these bowling balls are viable for all levels of play, except for the Tropical Surge. I don't like throwing that one. Okay, bye. <laughs>